It makes me think of Jesus who suffered so much in his life. And instead of being bitter, Jesus got better. Instead of being spiteful, Jesus was joyful. How do we as Christians respond in the same way as Jesus to the sufferings we will face? Because friends, Jesus did not promise us an easy life, but he did promise that he's overcome the world and that we can have peace. In fact, in John 15, Jesus promised that we would have trouble in this world, but he'll give us his peace and he's overcome the world. Jesus suffered. And yet in John 15, he promised that he would give us his joy How can we tap into the peace and the joy of Jesus while we are suffering? So we're going to be reading in 1 Peter 3. And in 1 Peter 3, we're going to discover how to have this sort of sturdy faith and exhibit this sort of sturdy faith to access the promises that Jesus has given to you and to me. Here's what Peter says. He says, finally, all of you be like-minded, be sympathetic, love one another, Be compassionate and humble. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. It's so interesting because in this passage, Peter tells us to do something that is contrary to our natural frame of mind. He says, don't repay evil for evil Don't repay insult for insult, but instead repay evil with blessing. What? Here's point number one. Point number one, sturdy faith chooses to respond well. When you suffer, sturdy faith chooses to respond well. I've got a question. How do you respond when people call you names or when they say rude things? How do you respond when you get overlooked How do you respond when you feel unwanted or unthanked or unhelped? Our human response to suffering, to injustice, to the struggle in life is to become angry, to retaliate, to be bitter and frustrated and hurt. But as Christians, we are called to bless others even when they cause us suffering. Why? Because God has blessed us in Jesus. What is that blessing, you may ask? Well, in Ephesians 1, 3, Paul says this to the Ephesian church and us. He says, praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. You've been blessed in Jesus, through Jesus, with Jesus. The best gift you can ever receive is a relationship, a living, breathing relationship with Jesus that brings you life to the full, just like he promised. See, sturdy faith chooses to treat others how Jesus has treated us. Somebody needs to hear this right now, that even though you are surrounded by suffering, Jesus has and is and will keep blessing you and that he intends for you to bless others even in your struggle, even in your pain, even when you don't feel like you can. Jesus is empowering you to live a life of blessing because this is what he has called you to, to be someone who is blessed with every spiritual blessing in Christ, but also to be someone who takes those blessings and passes them along through the way that you treat the people around you in Jesus' name. 